Hi, Seth Gratitude Guy with another special guest. This is my special guest and special friend, Marcy Porus Gottlieb. So, Marcy, welcome to the special guest. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. You bet. And you know by now, uh, what is my favorite question to ask? What are you grateful for? Mm, such a good question. I'm grateful for so very many things. But today, I feel particularly grateful for the opportunity to learn. So when things that don't seem positive on the surface happen, we tend to think, oh, that's bad, something bad, it's gonna hurt me, I feel bad be because I've done something wrong, because of uh, life's bad, it's that person's fault. There are all the many things you already talk about mm -hmm. in, your, in your one minute gratitude. But what, I'd rather think about it today, like what can this situation that was handed to me teach me? Mm -hmm. And how can I track it back to great things or even track it forward to great things that are gonna happen in the future and so I'm grateful I think back to your good question I'm grateful for the opportunity to be able to think that way instead of focusing on the negative but rather focusing on the positive and what can happen that's good from this situation at the moment which feels sort of grim and sort of blocked. It's such a great point I think about how I will tell people so often I'll send out 10 emails and I'll get three back, and I'm all upset with the seven that haven't gotten back to me. And my friend says, why don't you celebrate the three yeah. instead of getting upset about the seven? So have you been able, and we had a little setback here and there, uh, have you been able to extract a lesson or two from that? Yeah, I mean, I think the best lesson, actually, in, in, the, in the thinking back on this particular situation, which happened just this morning, um, I think that what I've, um, what, I, what I'm thinking about and what I'm recollecting is that it reminds me to, to really focus on the work. I'm also a coach, so it reminds me to focus on the work that I find particularly juicy. And so there were parts of this particular uh, engagement that were great, and there were parts that didn't feel so great. So at the end of the day, again, this is an opportunity to really kind of refocus and refine, as we all have to do in, mo in pretty periodically in our lives, is, is this giving me joy? Or is something else, is there something else out there that could be giving me more joy? Exactly. And I think, too, it goes back to, again, how I define gratitude. There's so many different ways to find gratitude, define gratitude. I define it as focusing on what you have versus what you don't have. As I said earlier, it's so easy to go down the path of what you don't have. So we just finished Thanksgiving. So the top one or two things, if you could list one or two that you're most grateful for, how would you list those? Oh, well, my family is the first thing. I have two right. wonderful children and a fabulous husband, so I'm grateful for them. And I'm just grateful for being here in the world. I'm just engaging and in the good moments and the grateful, beautiful, blessed moments and in the tough moments, it's, it's all exquisite. And I think that that's, I mean, I'm, I'm grateful for my life and for my family. Those are the two top things. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Well said. Well, another example of a special guest that says, just being in the world and you think about all the negativity that goes on around our world and, and uh, Marcy and I were talking about that earlier. If we focused on that, it would be pretty difficult to have a smile on your face. And if we focus on what we have and really expand that and understand that the other things happen, but it's also part of the life cycle being in the world. So thank you, Marcy. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. You bet. You bet. And be sure and tune in next week when we have another special guest on that gratitude, on that gratitude guy. I'm that gratitude guy. Remember, be grateful and never quit. Take care.